Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an eye makeup tutorial on this look that you see right here. I hope you guys like it. Um, I just wanted to come on here really quick and say hi, so I'm not going to talk too much, so let's just jump right into the tutorial. Alright guys, jumping right into today's video, I'm going to take this baby pink eyeshadow and use this as my first transition shade for the cut crease look that we're doing today. And all the eyeshadows will be from the Morphe 35B palette. It's my current obsession. And I'm just doing sweeping motions and circular motions just to blend out that first transition shade. Now to start building up that crease color, I'm going to go in with this purpley pink eyeshadow and start to apply it on the crease keeping all the darker shades closest to the crease line as we get darker so I'm not blending this one up too high however I am gonna start winging out the eyeshadow towards the end where my eyebrow is that way it can have that nice wing shape when we go in with the eyeliner later on and here I'm just doing circular motions and sweeping motions as well to blend it out and then with a little bit more of that baby pink shade I'm just smoothing out the edges and this is going to be pretty repetitive. I'm just building up this same color until it's the intensity that I like, but you could do whatever you prefer. And like I said, I'm doing sweeping motions and circular motions to blend it out. So now to start defining that crease, I'm taking this magenta pink shade and taking a very small e.l.f. blending crease brush and simply just kind of mapping out where that cut crease is going to be so I'm bringing it all the way towards my inner corner and winging this out as well. This is going to set a good guide for me when I go in with my concealer to see where I have to clean up the crease to really make it cut and define. So here I'm just blending it out and blending it upwards a little bit and trying to avoid the lid at all times. We will go in with concealer anyway so if you get a little fallout on your lid that's fine but just try to avoid it. And then taking more of that second purple pinky shade that we used, I'm just blending out the lines where all those colors meet so nothing looks too harsh. And now to highlight my brow bone, I'm taking this white eyeshadow and just applying it with an e.l.f. shader brush and blending out the edges. Now to really define the crease, I'm going to be going in with this purple eyeshadow and that same e.l.f. Um, definer brush and just doing sweeping motions just to apply that eyeshadow and then I will start to blend it out and blend it upwards trying to avoid the lid and I'm taking a little bit more of the purple, the purple, <laughs> more of the purple on this brush just to blend it into the other colors so everything looks nice and seamless. And then here I'm taking a little bit more of that magenta shade just to blend it all out. Alright, and today I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer to cut my crease today. You can use whatever concealer you have and use the smallest brush that you own to do this because the smaller the brush, the easier it'll be. So um, I do show you guys throughout the video um, that I do mess up on this cut crease and I decided to leave it in just so you guys can see that you can mess up but it's definitely fixable that's the thing about makeup is that it can be wiped away if you mess up so it's awesome <laughs> now to just deepen it a little bit more after cutting the crease I'm taking that deep purple shade and just running it where the concealer meets the eyeshadow if that makes sense that way it looks more defined and then to set the concealer I'm using that white eyeshadow So I added a little bit more of that purple shade, not the dark purple, but the purple just above that just to blend out the harsh line that I created with the purple. On camera it didn't look too harsh, but in person it looked a little harsh. So I was like, let me go in and fix this really quick. <laughs> so when I uh, started to do my wing liners, when I seen that my cut crease was just not as high as it should be. So I went in with concealer and simply just winged out the eyeshadow a little bit higher so there was room enough for the wing so this is where I messed up you guys but it is okay because you can just fix it it's fine um, so I just wanted to keep it in there so you guys can see that even I messed up too but practice makes perfect you guys already know so going back in to finish my wing I'm taking the wet and wild mega liner in black and simply doing a really thick bold wing I'm gonna kind of zoom past this because you guys already know the deal with how I do my wing but pretty much this is what's going on right now. <laughs> now 
Now I'm going to be taking the NYX White Liquid Liner and just doing a line starting from the inner corner and bringing it about three-fourths of the way and then just really putting light pressure towards the end so it looks like it fades out into the black liner and then doing the same exact thing on the bottom part of the tail of the wing today. And now I'm going to be taking the NYX Silver Glitter Liner and I'm just doing a line across where the cut crease is just to add a little pop of glitter. And I'm going to be coating my lashes with some mascara to prep them for the eyelashes and I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot and then I'm using my Giordana Black Liner to apply some liner on my top lash line and my lower lash line if that makes sense my waterline and my yeah you guys know what i mean <laughs> so for lashes today i'm using the ardell wispy lashes and these are my, one of my favorite lashes of all time and now starting on the lower lash line i'm pretty much doing what i did on top on the bottom so i'm applying that light baby pink and then that purpley pink shade and then going in with the magenta and the purple just to smoke it out so it matches the top and i will be going in with a little bit of black liner, not black liner, sorry, black eyeshadow, just to smudge out the liner that I applied on my waterline so it can make it a little bit more smoky. And then once the lashes were set in place, I'm taking my Wet n Wild Mega Liner liquid liner to just fill in any gaps where the lashes may peek through so it doesn't look like you could see the falsies. And then giving my lashes a curl and coating my lower lashes with mascara. And for the inner corner today, I'm simply just packing on that white eyeshadow just to have a little bit of a highlight in the middle there. All right, time to go back to live, Monica. Bye, guys. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this look and you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already. And as always, I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys.